I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the 13 stripes and stars of a colonial flag for the USA. I'm going to take four fingers, kind of open them a little bit, and put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, off the page. We're going to use the entire sheet of paper. Now right at this point, we're just going to draw a straight line across to divide up our paper. We need to draw six lines in here and six lines below. Let's see if we can do that. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and hopefully that's six. Now we're going to draw one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we should end up with 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Great. So we did this all correct. Now we're going to fill in the thirteen stars in a circle. Put a dot. And we're just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Connect. Now you've got to make them small. So that they fit because we end up with stars that don't fit. Now I'm switching gears and I'm just doing up, down, up, down to see if I can make all of these fit. They should be five point stars, but I just am going to make mine star bursts. All right, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to put one here. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. You have no idea how difficult that is and this is. And now we're going to try and color it in. All right. Put another piece of paper underneath. So it doesn't matter if you go outside the lines. So I'm going to go red, white, red, white, red, white, red, white, red, white, red, white, red. red. And you might say, why am I marking these? Because when you start coloring them all in, the next thing you know, you might very easily color the wrong stripe, the wrong color. So rather than go through that heartache and pain, I automatically, once I've drawn my stripes, come back in and mark the ones that should be red. It's an ABAB pattern. Red, white, red, white, red, white. You will do a better, better job coloring in than I am. I'm just trying to show you some of the tricks to get this made. Now, red, white, red, white, red, white. Come down to this section now. Red, white, red, white red, white. Now, I'm using crayons. This would be way easier if I had a red and a dark blue marker, but of course I don't. So I'm using crayons. You also could use, if you did all your drawings with black crayon, 
you could fill in the stripes and you could fill in your rectangle of stars using watercolor. That would work. And having drawn this like five or six times before I could figure out how to do it, I also believe this would be a very easy design to sew like Betsy Ross did of the flat because everything would be already mapped out size-wise. I could have done this with a ruler but you never know if you have a ruler. Down at the bottom I know that I did this space correctly because I started with red and my last stripe is red. All right. Now I come over to my stars. And this whole space needs to be blue. I apologize about them not all being five point stars. But you kind of have to do them so that they are big enough to be white, otherwise they disappear into the blue. And once again, you will do a better job of coloring than I am. And I could see how Betsy Ross could have done the stars easier sewing them and cutting them out of material. Okay, this is my colonial flag with the 13 stripes and the 13 stars representing the colonies who became the United States of America. All right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my stars and stripes, 13 stripes, 13 stars, all colored in. The design is from 1777 the Second Continental Congress, and Flag Day. Okay, bye-bye.